In this training video, we're going to look at creating and modifying a custom stencil. So first of all, to create a custom stencil, we're in the, the basic diagrams template of Visio. So from the basic diagrams, I'm going to go to more shapes, new stencil, metric in this example. I'm going to rename it, not to read it. To whenever you save it, so I'm going to right click in line of stencil name, save as. And you save it to the location under the desktop in this example. I'll call it business operation diagrams. So here's the name. I'm now going to copy the entire diagram on the page onto the stencil. So I'm going to highlight the diagram, copy. Now in the middle of the stencil, the new stencil, the business operation diagrams, I'm going to right click, paste. So here's the master, here's the diagram copied now. This diagram has been copied. You get a save symbol, you save. So I'm going to save. So now the diagram has been copied. I can rename it, but you can only rename it if you've got this red symbol on. This red symbol is called edit. Because I can right click on the new diagram shape now, right click, rename the master. Now if I right click in line with the business operation diagram stencil name, you can see edit stencil. So if I turn this off, now try and edit the master. I can't because edit's off. So to to make changes to the stencil, the edit's got to be on. So I'm going to turn the edit back on. Now I'm going to rename it and I'll call it mind mapping diagram. I just leave it with a name mind mapping. I'm going to call it process. I'm going to save it now. So every time you see the save, you will save the stencil. And I'm going to check it's working. So i check the diagram can be used on a different page. I'll do a plus to go to an insert page. And I'll just insert it. And there we go, we can see it It works effectively. And there's the diagram that's now copied from the stencil onto a new page. I'm going to delete the diagram now that I've just inserted or dragged onto the page because I'm now going to update the diagram for a version control. So the version control, all I'm going to do is copy it and paste it again. And I'll just call it version 2 then paste, save, rename, and I'll just call it v2, so version 2, now the version 2 I want to update to make some version change, so I'm going to right click on the version 2, edit master, edit master shape, Now it might look like we're in Visio right now, uh, but we're not, we're in the stencil because it says here stencil right now. And it tells you where you are, mind mapping process v v2 version 2, but it tells you in the stencil. So I'm actually making changes inside of the stencil. So in this example, I'm just going to change the color of these lines and make the thickness a little bit bigger. And then I'll do a couple of the changes. So I'm going to say that's the new line I want. I'm now going to use the Format Painter and I'm going to copy all the rest of the wavy lines. So we're updating all of them now, which are wavy, to a different way of working. 
and there we go. So there's the change in this example. I'm going to take the format pointer off. I'm now going to close the stencil down and save it. That's the AX at the bottom here. So this will now close the window for the stencil. And you got you offered the option yes to update well we want to save it so yes we are going to update it and again we're going to save so i'll just save the stencil and now we can see the colors are now changed from the, to a red color they were blue over here they're now red we're going to test it by pulling the new v2 onto the diagram page and there's the new change so you can add diagrams to a stencil you can create your own stencils you can do version control in it you can update the version controls but this now completes the training video on creating a new diagram stencil adding diagrams to the stencil by copying and pasting them and then also creating a version control in this example so this now completes custom stencils in visio for business diagram purposes. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you like and subscribe to our channel. Hope to see you for the next tutorial and thanks for watching.